Archie's No Mummies Girl have dire consequences in half an hour here on BBC One. Neighbours follows today's appointment at the doctor's. Tomorrow. Damien! Do you hear? You asked for these. Oh, thanks. Um, is there something else? I was just wondering how you and Bella are after those very interesting discussions at lunch yesterday. Oh, that was not. Well, you were rather rude to the poor girl. Poor girl? She had the cheek to question George's credentials. Well, she was only asking perfectly valid questions about your therapy. Anyway, you were acting oddly before Dr. Woodson arrived. However I acted is really none of your concern. Oh, I happen to like Belle. I think she's rather agreeable. Right, and you've met her, what, twice? There's no need for that attitude. I don't have an attitude. I have a stack of paperwork. You know, I could delay your next patient, and then you could ring Belle and apologise. What for? Well, I think it'd make you feel better. I was feeling right till you came in. So if you don't mind, I'm not a ten-year-old. I can deal with my own problems. I, I, I just thought you might like to see... Just leave. We're done. You could answer that. Yes. Do I look like a receptionist? I'm here, I'm here. Hello, Millhouse. I see. Uh, Dr. Woodson, it's your husband on the phone. It says it's urgent. Oh, thank you. Morning, what is it? I'm with a client who needs an appointment right away. By right away, do you mean right away? Yes. I'm sorry, I've got, I've got a full list of patients, probably till lunchtime at least. We won't wait till lunch, this is an emergency. Uh, take them to A and E. Um well, you can't just barge in here demanding favours because I'm your wife. Exactly what I can do. Anyway, it's too late now. Why? Because we're already here. I meant what I said. I don't have time to see another patient. We're up against the clock here. Well, if I could, I would. No, I don't want to cause any bother. It's all right, Damien. I want you to see a doctor. We're not a 24-hour garage, Mr. Woodson. You can't just turn up and demand service. Yeah, he knows that. So perhaps if we... There must be someone free. I don't mind taking a look. You still have patients, Dr. Clay? Not until 1.30. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the more the merry. Uh, if you want to pop through. Go on, I'll wait for you here. Thank you so much for your support. I said I could see him, just not now. We've meant to be in court in a couple of hours. Look, I'm sorry, but it's manic here today. And I'll be late as well, because I've got uh, another therapy session with Nick later. Oh, good. It's good to know where I sit on your list of priorities. That's not fair. In my office. Well, apart from the rash, you mentioned some vomiting too. Like Niagara Falls. Uh, you can put your shirt back on. Give it to me straight, Doctor. Well, it looks like an allergic reaction to penicillin. You taken any medication? No. Have you been prescribed any antibiotics or the like? Couldn't even spell it. Any changes in your diet lately? Not that I can think of. Is it serious? 
Not entirely sure. Have you been under much stress lately? No. Well, yeah. I I'm in court today. I'm innocent, though. Well, mostly. I see. I am. I mean, I did get involved in this warehouse robbery, but I only drove the car. Right, well, that's not really any of my concern. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering whether the rash could be more of a psychosomatic response. A what? I mean, the rash could be caused by the uh, stress of the court case. That sounds a bit trivial. No, not at all. I mean, if you haven't taken any medication, then it's very important that we find out what caused it. Well, I agree with you, Doctor. Believe me, I I'm just not sure we've got enough time. I've got to be in court in a couple of hours. Right. Unless I had some sort of doctor's note to excuse me, maybe. I'm not having a go. I just asked why you seem to be pushing Nick's treatment so much. A few sessions hardly constitute... Seems to be taking up all your spare time. Don't exaggerate. Why don't you say what you really mean? You think this is all about the accident? Well, of course I do. You still feel responsible. Can you not comprehend this is about exploring every avenue? You're telling me you no longer feel any guilt? I'm just trying to help a friend. I don't understand why you're reading so much into it. I don't think I am. Why else would you be making such a big deal? Unless this has nothing to do with me at all. Well, the other alternative is to send you to hospital for tests. If only there was enough time. I could make sure they prioritise you. It could still take an age. Unless, maybe, Mr Woodson could arrange for me to give my evidence away from court. Well, I wouldn't know about that, but the tests themselves shouldn't take very long. It might, if they couldn't figure out what caused it. Well, they'd still send you on your way. The results would take a couple of days to come back, and by then it might have cleared up by itself. I could have anything here. Well, let's not get melodramatic. If the rash doesn't go away on its own in a few days, then we can look into things further. A bit too late by then. Well, I'm sure if you're in the care of the prison service, they would that's still... That's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean? I, I mean... I need something to make me feel better now. Well, I could prescribe something to ease the symptoms. As you said, you haven't taken any other medication, so it no. shouldn't be a problem. No, I haven't. I already told you. You know, most people, when they first become ill, they take something to make themselves feel better. But not you. So what? I am clearly too ill to go to a court hearing. Well, you seem pretty keen not to attend. Only because I'm sick. I think it would take something a lot more debilitating than your symptoms to avoid a court case. So all this has been a waste of time. I can still refer you to the hospital. Oh, what's the point? What if I had taken something that I knew I was allergic to and it was out of date? Why else would you be blowing this out of all proportion? He's my friend, too. Wouldn't stop me being jealous. Oh, this is another piece of George logic. Or maybe work's the real problem here. You must admit your behaviour's been pretty erratic since you left Riley Lynch. Mine? Ten out of ten for irony, George. And what about what you did just then? You're dashing in here, demanding to see a doctor for your client. So I'm just trying to build my reputation. No, you're bored. You haven't got enough to occupy your brain, so you're reading stuff into things that aren't even there. Do you honestly think it's me that needs to take a long, hard look at my motives? Could we not argue about this, please? We're not arguing. I'll try not to be too late home tonight. Okay. Car keys. Keys. Well, I'm not sure I've heard anything like it. I get that a lot. Come in. All cured. Can we get going? I think you should hear this. Oh, there's no need. Mr Woodson's a very no, busy man. No, I think he'd like to, especially after he went out of his way to bring you here. <sighs> I, um... I haven't been entirely honest with you, Mr Woodson. Go on. I made myself ill. On purpose. I don't follow. Why? Because of my co-defendant, Terry Kennedy. He's been threatening me. He wants me to take more blame for the robbery. Well, you didn't say anything? There wasn't time. Well, I could have gone to the police. I could have gotten to... <laughs> He's not bothered about the police. He's not right in the head. Why do I get the feeling there's more and I'm not going to like it? 
Last night, Terry came round threatening me. I panicked. I started thinking that if I was sick, I wouldn't have to face him in court. I could give me evidence some other way. So how exactly did you make yourself ill? This bit's good. I, um, I took some antibiotics from a, an old prescription, one that I had before I knew I was allergic to penicillin. I knew they'd give me a rash and make me a bit sick, but apart from that, perfectly harmless. You idiot. I was frightened. I still am. Terry's a dangerous bloke. I would help you. I panicked. So you spent the morning lying to me and done nothing but waste your own time? Sorry. At least he should be okay. Well, more's the pity. Well, I'm really sorry, Jim. This has been a complete waste of your time. It's fine, don't worry. Well, come on then, Dr. Clay does have some real patients he needs to see. Good luck. Think you're gonna need it. <laughs> what were you thinking? I told you. Terry's dangerous. You know exactly what he did to that security guard. Couldn't that give me evidence some other way? There is no other way. You have to face up to this. But... I no buts, Damien. You are guilty. Which means you have no choice but to stand up to Terry Kennedy. But he'll lie. He'll twist things. He'll say that I armed him with the knife. Did you? No. Well, then leave all that to me. He's got previous convictions. You don't. No judge is going to find anything he says credible. I wish I had your confidence. Vivian. Look, earlier, I, I shouldn't have been so rude. Pig-headed. Oh, I wouldn't have gone that far. Pig-headed, right. All right, I'm sorry. You see, you can apologise. I'm sure that uh, Belle would appreciate it. Please, don't start again. I'm only doing it for your own benefit. I think she'd be very good for you. Why? Because she's in a wheelchair. Did I say that? That's what you meant. We're both in wheelchairs. We should stick together. You know, forget about whether our personalities click. We're in wheelchairs. Let's go on day trips. Form a club. Honestly, don't be so sensitive. I was only saying she's a very positive person, and I think you should be grateful to have a friendship like that. Whatever her expectations. A what? I wouldn't presume to know if she wanted anything more than friendship. You don't think... I don't know. And I'm not one to interfere where it's not wanted. You think I'm a coward, don't you? That's irrelevant. Not to me. I want you to understand this is not just about me being too scared to face prison. Oh, no. No, it, it's about my son, Jamie, and about making sure I get out before he grows up. We don't really have time for this, Daniel. Please, it's important. I've never really explained to you how I ended up in this mess. OK, well, talk as we walk, will you? After my divorce, I barely saw Jamie. I wasn't much of a father at all. I fell behind on my child maintenance payments. When well, you thought robbery was the best solution? Nobody's ever accused me of being the smartest bloke in the room. Jamie gets bullied at school. He hasn't got the right trainers. His mobile isn't shiny enough. There's not the money. I thought if I took part in this robbery, I could finally give him what he deserves. I think he'd prefer to have his father around than a new pair of trainers. I know that. But can't you see? I can't spend my life rotting in prison. I just want the chance to be a part of his childhood. There's every chance of that. Look, get in. I'll give you a lift. At least tell me you've had your suit cleaned. What suit? <laughs> the last time that saw the inside of a dry cleaners was in the 80s. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? This doesn't concern you. You'd better tell the truth in court. Hey, I'm a solicitor. I know who you are which means you know what I'm capable of. Don't be stupid. Don't even think about pinning it all on me. Get off! Do you hear me? Enough now or I'm calling the police. I'm not doing more time because of you. I'll give you two seconds to get lost. I won't warn you again. You OK? I don't know. What was he talking about? I don't know. It, he's panicking. He's desperate. He'll say anything. And you're ready to face him in court? Yeah. 
more than ever now. You're right. I've got to face up to it. This is about Jamie, it's not just about me. Um, it's just, it's that sports initiative do. I, I know we arranged it some time ago, but, um, well, it's tonight. You still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Um, I'll meet you there, okay? Uh, yeah, right, okay, I'll see you then. Yeah. When I've collected the case papers, I'll come back and pick you up. There's no need. You've been running after me all day. I'll jump a taxi. I suppose it would be easier to meet outside the court. Good idea. Damien, do not be late. I'll tell you what, I'll be early. You two didn't look that miserable during your consultations. To be a wonder if half your patients weren't on antidepressants by now. <laughs> Am I to take it that an apology to Belle was not forthcoming? Am I to take it this is you not interfering? And why are you looking so fed up, Dr. Clay? I'm okay. In my experience, if a doctor is happy to take on extra patients, he wants to take things off his mind. Is it me, or is working with Vivian at the moment a bit like working with your mother? Well, if I was your mother, there'd be none of this moping about. Well, I would love to chat, but I've got work to do. Yeah, which I promised to help with. I know what's the trouble with those two. They're just little boys at heart. Actually... Sit down. You know, the problem with those two is an inability to express emotions, unless it's to do with sport, cars, or intimate relations. I expect it's the same with you. It's undoubtedly a design fault. When I was running the ward, it was endless. The stuff I had to put up with from you lot. Mr. Woodson, I was just on my way to meet you. Don't insult my intelligence, Damien. How did you know? You're not the first client I've had that wanted to run. You've every right to be annoyed. No, I'm more than annoyed. You've been stringing me along. I'm sorry? You better start explaining yourself, Damien. I'm this close to dropping you in it. Hello, this is Belle. Hi, Belle. It's Nick. I'm not in right now, but please leave a message. Just don't make it boring. I'm just calling, you know, to say sorry about yesterday. I guess I'm still adjusting to things and maybe I overstepped the mark. A bit. Hey, there's irony. Um, anyway, I hope we're still mates. And... Okay. Bye. So that's what Terry meant. The robbery was all your idea. Yeah. I swear I was only the driver. And I never thought for a second that he had a knife. You're going to have to convince me. What I told you earlier about Jamie and needing the money, that was all true. About a year ago, I had this sort of delivery job. It paid cash in hand, so it suited me. I used to deliver to this electronics warehouse a lot. You wouldn't believe how lax the security was. It's just this old guard that should have retired years ago. The guard Terry assaulted? A few months after the job ended, I was out of work really struggling to pay the child maintenance debt back. So, I started thinking about that warehouse again. I saw the chance for some easy money. I was desperate to make things better for Jamie. A stupid idea, even for me. The bloke I was supposed to do the robbery with dropped out at last minute. He recommended Terry. I'd never met him before. 
I didn't know he was violent. He messed it all up. He panicked and he beat up that poor old guard. Even if I accept that is true, then why run now? You've been on bail for four months. I wasn't going to run. I took the pills to avoid giving evidence in court. To avoid facing Terry Kennedy? No, I, I am scared of him, but not in a courtroom. Think about it. That guard will be there. And he'll recognise you. Exactly. They'll make the connection. They'll realise that the robbery must have been my idea. What judge in the world is then going to believe that I didn't know that Terry was armed? It'll still be your word against his. Yeah, but everything Terry says is then credible. All he has to do is lie, claim that I armed him, and I'm screwed. If you'd been straight with me from the start, I could have dealt with this. I could have figured something out. You don't have to anymore, Mr Woodson. Just turn a blind eye. Let me go. Don't pretend you don't feel better for apologising. Maybe I do, a bit, but promise me, no more discussions about that. Of course. I barely said a word about the girl. Good afternoon, Mill Health Centre. Oh, I see. Um, tomorrow is rather optimistic. I could stand up and strangle her. Uh, hold on, Dr. Clay, as you're in the mood, would you be happy to squeeze in an extra patient tomorrow? Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. Hello, well, yes, you're in luck. I can just fit you in. First of all, let's have your name. You're not thinking straight. I do appreciate all that you've done, but please, don't waste your time trying to change my mind. But can you not see how foolish it is to run away? That's what I do. Things mess up, I get out. And Jamie, is this the example you want to set for him? Jamie is the reason I'm doing this. Oh, don't give me that. This is all about saving your own skin. At least have the guts to admit you're using Jamie as an excuse. If I go down for ten years, he'll never know me. Oh, and you think you can have a relationship this way? It's the only chance. No, it isn't. You're going to make the same mistake you've always made. What? We both know you feel guilty towards your son because you've struggled to face up to your responsibility as a father. Maybe so. Please, let me do this. This is no different. You're running away from the consequences of your actions again. No. If you don't turn up in court today, they will issue a warrant for your arrest. I'll take my chances. And when they catch up with you, and they will, then you'll be facing a sentence of uh, failure to surrender on top of the robbery. I don't care. Get out of me way. Even if you manage to find a way of seeing Jamie, you'll always be running away, always looking over your shoulder. It's better than nothing. But you're not looking at nothing. If you face up to this now, you'll be out one day. You'll be able to make things right with him. Eva, what's up? Look, I'm really sorry, but... What? Something's come up. I'm, I'm stuck at work. I can't make tonight. Oh, is that all? What? Well, um, well it's a relief, actually, because... Um... Something's come up this end, so I was going to have to cancel anyway. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm, I'll better call, because I'm with a patient, OK? Bye. Bye, Jimmy. You look after yourself. Take care. Feeling any better? No. I just don't know whether it's nerves or those pills I took. It's probably both. <laughs> Look, stay calm. I'm still confident we can get you a reasonable sentence. Okay? Wasn't sure you'd have the guts to show. We're busy. Go away. My brief tells me you've decided to tell the truth after all. Knew I'd get you in the end. You want to know why? Because you're spineless. Because no one would believe a moron like you masterminded anything. Given the circumstances, do you really want to cause a scene here? You're lucky. Whatever happens, Terry. At least I'll enjoy the fact you're getting sent down for a lot longer than me. I don't know what's come over you, but keep it up when we're inside. You are still sure about this? I've never been so scared in my life. It has to be your decision. You are still facing years inside. You were right. This is about Jamie. One day I want to be able to look him in the eye. Build a proper relationship. One that's not based on borrowed time.
You've also got Mrs. Southcott tomorrow. <laughs> she insisted on seeing you. So make sure she doesn't talk non-stop and take up all of your time. She's harmless enough. Are you sure you're going to be able to fit everyone in? Hmm. Oh, I wish some of the others were as professional as you, Dr. Clay. Oh, and by the way, I've squeezed in another appointment with Mr. Saunders. Who? Alistair Saunders. Uh, he said it was a follow-up appointment. Is something wrong? I did ask if it was OK. Uh, no, it's fine. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't need protecting against STIs. Sexually transmitted. Be quiet, honey. I talked to my partner over the weekend, as you suggested, and she's all for the vasectomy reversal. Really? I've already done it. Had sex. Have you? Sex at 12 is, is wrong. It's unlawful. She can't consent. Chrissy is less than impressed when she discovers her dad's secret at Holby City tonight at 8. Next this afternoon, here on BBC One, it's Neighbours. The one-to-one.